My name is Freebon Miracle. I'm representing Abia State. I'm from Bende local government area. I'm 20 years old. The reason I'm contesting for Fawn Cup is that I really do admire beauty queens. I've always wanted to be like them. I love their charisma, the way they carry themselves. I love the boldness and everything. So I really do want to be like them. My camp experience so far has been amazing. Um, though it wasn't all rosy, but it has been nice. From the aerobics, <laughs> I'm really not an exercise kind of person, but it's, I couldn't believe that I would survive three days, but I was able to. Then the catwalk, the catwalk section has been very, very inspiring because I thought I knew how to walk on heels until I came here and I knew that I knew nothing at all and have been learning very well down to the skill acquisition. The skill acquisition, it's something that's not just going to be used here in camp. It's something that could help me in my life later. And I really want to thank Von Cop for that. Then the computer lessons, so much I have learned, so much that I can't even wait to come out and use, so much I can't wait to tell my parents about and my family. I feel like an independent lady already. And also to my fellow contestants, they have been amazing. We all have our different characters and different flaws, but they have been amazing. And I really do love the girls. Okay, first we started by making our cooking stove. Though I have cooked with firewood several times, countless number of times before, but I have never made a local cooking stove. And except when I was a child and we used to play in mud and all that. Then that aside, then we went to hunt for firewood. I've gone to fetch firewood in the farm, but I've never gone to hunt for firewood where I have to drag firewood with other people. No, it's always more than enough to carry home. Then also the cooking, I had to prepare my local delicacy. It has been, it has been educating. It has been inspiring. It's something that draws us closer to home and I really enjoyed every single part of it. Okay, first it was the jogging. All my life I've been trying to gather fat. So when we started the jogging, I was like, God, all the fat I've been gathering for how many years? I just want to waste it here. <laughs> then also, ah, these squats. I don't know the names of all the exercise here. After the third day, that was when I was hearing it hot in my body, like all my bones. I could literally place where all the joints were connected. I could feel pains every single place. I didn't even think I would survive the night. I was thinking that a day would come where my chaperone would have to carry me from the bed and take me back home because I'm not fit. But, <laughs> but as I continued doing it, the truth is that the strength was not there, but the determination was there. That was what kept me going. So after a few days, like five days, it was, the pain was still there, but it was becoming lit you. So that was how I was able to survive. I had a conversation with Mr. Osage. We had a class with him. He taught us about professionalism and imagery. He taught us about how personality, how personality varies. He did a whole lot in teaching us about how to keep our image and all what's not. The truth is that I really learned a whole lot from him because his choice of words, the way he delivers his words, the way he answers each question were amazing. Like all throughout the class, though he was saying a whole lot of things, I was just trying to picture his personality because he's someone that obviously is abreast with words and the way he delivered really caught me. And I must thank Fun Cup for that opportunity. It's not something I think I'll see anytime soon. Living in a house with eight different people from different homes, different upbringings, with different personality was actually not easy. At first, I sat down the first three days, then I observed everybody's character and personality. For the three days, I was able to dissect some people's character and personality, though most of them didn't really blend with mine and I didn't really see much effort with them trying to blend with mine, so I had to blend in because I had to stay with this set of people for the next two weeks. Um, um, we are humans, we had our flaws, but I don't think, I've, I've never had any real issues 
with anybody because I don't have strength and I cannot fight. So if I don't want people to break my head, I run away. <laughs> I run away from trouble and all that. If I become the face of Niger Delta cultural pageant, I would like to, in my small way, affect the life of one of the most neglected set of people in our country, especially the Niger Delta region. And these are children with disabilities because in the today's world, in as much as most of us are educated, we still see these children as being cursed. And this goes a long way in affecting their self-esteem. Most of them have hidden talent. Most of them cannot be teachable. But still yet there are things that they can do with their life. So I would like to help them in any way I can. First, in educating the people that these children with disabilities are not useless. They are not condemned and they can be useful. So also, I would like to educate the children with disabilities, those that are teachable. And those that are not teachable, they could learn a skill or something. Everyone has their uniqueness and this is what I want the world to see in them. My name is Freeborn Miracle and I'm representing Abia State. I'm 20 years old and I am from Bende Local Government. This is Phone Cop 2021 and we spread the kindness virus.